In this video, I wanna break down how to use my brand new AI agent Webby to write the script for your sales presentations, webinars, and masterclasses literally in minutes. I wanna break it down here on this video. So Webby has been trained on my frameworks. I've been working on webinars for over a decade, millions of dollars in sales for my clients using webinars, and I wanna share that process with you. So the first thing we need to do is give Webby a few things to make sure it gets in sync with you. It's going to give you, you want to give it your name, the core problem you solve, who your ideal client is, how you help solve that problem for that client, a little bit about your program and service, and then it's optional, but it's helpful. You can drop a link to your sales page or your website and Webby will scan that and read that to give it further context as to your business and your offer. Okay. So let's just give an example here. Let's just say your name's Marie Smith and you're a child psychologist and you help busy moms get their kids to stop yelling and start listening. You have a 90 day coaching service around that topic. Let's just plug that in here to speed up the demo. The first thing Webby's gonna do is give you some hooks and headlines you can use for your presentation here. So these are pretty good. Most of you, I love all of you, most of you aren't real good at creating headlines. Uh, let's just read the first one. From, calm, from chaos to calm, how to get your kids to listen without yelling. I really like that. The Yell Free Parenting Blueprint, Unlock the Secret to Peaceful Parenting. Let's just go with number one. Now, I can always come down here and reprompt it and say, add this or do it in this format or whatever. But let's just say we like slot, or excuse me, headline number one here. So all I got to do is punch a one in, into the chat here. And it's going to start creating some bullet points now for my presentation. And so your bullet points, I call them benefit bullets are what you would use to describe the reasons why people should attend. So they, these can go on your registration page, the emails you use to promote the webinar, which Webby will also help you with at the end. Uh, it'll, you can also use these in your agenda slides to create open loops and stuff like that. So, you know, discover the immediate steps to stop your kids yelling in its tracks, restore peace in your home, that's pretty good. Learn key strategies to redirect your child's behavior, gain insights into creating lasting behavior changes. These are really pretty good. Now, again, I can always reprompt re Webby or engage with it again, but let's just say this is good to go. And Webby's then gonna start writing out the first few slides of your presentation. And so I call this your intrigue open. This is the first few slides of a sales presentation designed to welcome people and then get them bought into staying throughout the webinar or presentation by opening loops. You know, so we welcome everybody. The f Let's just read this. So hi, I'm Marie Smith. Welcome to, insert the name of the, the webinar. I'm thrilled to have you here as we embark on this journey that could transform your parenting experience. First up, we're gonna dive into the immediate steps you can take to stop your child's yelling in its tracks. Imagine a home where peace reigns supreme. I know that's what you're all looking for. Next, I'm gonna share key strategies to redirect your child's behavior towards calm, cooperative interactions. No more power struggles, just harmony. It feels amazing. Then we'll, we'll explore how to create lasting behavioral changes without resorting to yelling or punishment type activities. It's all about building a positive, nurturing home environment, and I know that's what you're looking for. And then at the end, and stick around because I got a special invitation for you that could game could be a, could be the game changer for, for that you've been looking for. But more on that later. Okay. And so what what have we done? We've welcomed people. We've op opened some loops, and we've seeded that we have something later in the presentation. Again, this type of presentation lead generation is designed to book a call. Okay. So again, I that's really pretty good. That's a really good opening trained on my frameworks. And let's just say, okay, yes, we like that. Or you can always reprompt it again. Now it's gonna write the next section of your presentation I call framing the new opportunity. And so once we kind of open the loops real quick up front, we wanna talk about your attendees' desires. We want to seed the difficulties or talk about the difficulties in getting to those desires, share a little bit of maybe what they've tried before and failed with, and then seed that we have something new, a discovery. Every good presentation talks about a new opportunity or a discovery. We wanna make sure though to set the stage here a little bit. And so I'm not gonna read all of this today, but um, basically this talks about, you know, that busy mother's 
desires of harmony at home. Imagine waking up knowing each day you have the tools to handle any outburst that comes your way. I mean, that's really, really good, right? And then it pivots to, but the issue is, insert reasons. Maybe you've tried timeouts. Maybe you've done this and that. Well, what I've discovered is a is a is the key to breaking this cycle. It, it, you know, shifting your kid's behavior and approach. You know, all that kind of stuff, right? So it writes out that section of your presentation that really tees up what you're about to learn. Then we can just move either again reprompt it or move on. Let's just say yes, we like that. Go ahead and move on. And then it's going to start. It's and then it's going to want to know a little bit about you. And so this is the discovery story segment. I'm just going to grab another prompt here, plug this in right here. Um, after we see the discovery, we want to tell a quick discovery story. This is like a three to five minute story that basically gives the, the attendees more context around how you discovered what you're sharing, as well as why they should listen to you. So I like to use a before, during, and after framework. What were you doing before you made this discovery, in this case, this new technique, describe the moment of discovery, and then what did you do afterwards? Did you use it with other people? Did you use it with yourself? Did you create a software? Did you write a book? Like, what did you do afterwards? And so I've got a little thing here that I'm just gonna dump in. Um, you know, I've been, in this case, for this example, I've been a child psychologist for more than two decades. I've worked with hundreds of people's of children, yet when it came to my own, I struggled like everybody else. I distinctly remember my child in the middle of a rage fit because she couldn't go to the park, started throwing a fit, etc. I tried all the usual stuff. It didn't work. Then I discovered something completely new. Uh, after that, I started teaching other parents and they had the same amazing results. And that's what I'm sharing with you today. So I'm summarizing what I put in here. And then look, it writes out literally that entire section. For more than two decades, I'd been a child psychologist. That seeds authority, why we should listen to this person. But despite my efforts, my own with my I struggled with my own child. Then I discovered something new. And now I've been sharing it with other parents. Like it, it adds context. If you just jump right into teaching on your webinars and presentations without setting the stage like this, you're missing the mark. And Webby is trained to do this for you, okay? So again, I can reprompt it or I can just say, yes, let's good, let's keep going. Great, let's move on to the roadmap section. Uh, so your roadmap re to results is is really the meat of your presentation. It's the context, um, it's, it's the content rather, after the context. And so your roadmap is like the steps or the method or the new path you're wanting to expose these people to. Some of you already have this, some of you don't. Now, if you don't have this, Webby will work with you to create this, you know, a, a name for your method, a series of steps or, or phases of your method to get the results. If you already have something like this, if you're listening to this and you're an established consultant or coach, you may already have something like this. So let's just say that we do. Let's just say um, this that Marie here, the child psychologist, has a process called the Calm Connection Method. Step one, decode the outburst. Step two, reset the response. Step three, rebuild the bond. And the more you can give Webby on your stuff, the better. But let's just use that as a quick example here. You can see that that's been added to the chat flow here. Now Webby's going to start writing this section of your webinar, which is the bulk of the webinar. It's going to introduce the the method, it's going to start with step one. It's going to talk about why step one is important. We always want to talk about why things are important in our presentations. Um, and it's, going to, it's going to talk about what's involved at a high level. It's going to give examples. It's going to address objections for you, all those kind of things. It's going to help give you examples that you can use to make that point. And that's really what we want to do during our roadmap. Talk about what it is, why it's important, what's involved, examples, overcome objections. Overcoming objections is super important in the content section of your webinar. Webby's been trained to do that for you. Now, a quick reprompt you can make, a quick reprompt you can make for this is if you wanna bulk this up a little bit, you can do something like this. So this is good, but I would like a bit more depth to each slide, double down on the emotional depth of the copy. I can reprompt it here. And it's gonna rewrite that area with a little more depth and pizzazz, a little pizzazz with it. And so you can always reprompt this. You can say, hey, can you add this? Can you add this example, that example? You can literally go back and forth as long as you need here. Let's just say we like what we got there, just for demonstration purposes here. And it'll write the next section of your roadmap, which is the reset response. 
talk about why it's important, what it is, why it's important, what's involved, examples, overcoming objections, all that kind of stuff. And then we can go to the third part. And it's going to write that next section. You can see we're already into slide 59, 60, 61, 62. And it goes all the way to slide 67. Okay, again, I can reprompt it, I can add, I can subtract, I can do whatever. And then what we're going to do is tra the transition to the offer. Okay, so let's just say we like that. Now we're transitioning from te you know, sharing the roadmap, addressing objections, sharing examples, case studies, all those kind of things, to now transitioning to making our call to action. So there's a brief section there where we want to recap value. We want to ask them a question and we want to tee up the next step. Okay, so Webby's been trained to do that. And you could say, cool, yes, go ahead. Webby's going to continue with, in this case, this is again a lead generation style webinar. So what we want here is a goal is not to sell or pitch something, it's to book a call. Like if you're a consultant, coach, service provider, this is the type of presentation you're going to want to do. One of the things we want to do is actually name our call effectively. We don't want to just say, hey, if you like what you hear, book a call with me or book a strategy session. Call it something. Position the call as a valuable complimentary service. Webby will help you do that. The Peaceful Parenting Strategy Session, the, the Calm Connection Consultation, Harmony at Home Discovery Call. I like that one a lot. Now what it's going to do is write that out for you here. So it's going to write that section for you in this, and you're done with your presentation. Now what it's going to do now is say, hey, do you want me to write your full script? Now you can either reprompt it or you can just say yes. Watch this. Webby's going to write your entire script for you from start to finish. You can literally just copy, paste it into a Google Doc, paste it into a Word Doc, whatever you want to do there. And you're going to be ready to just transfer this stuff directly to your slide deck. Uh, I have a slide deck that mirrors this process perfectly, so you can just plug and play. Or you can hand it to a designer to do it for you or, or use a third-party tool if you want. It's up to you. But you can see Webby is writing out the entirety of a 79 slide <clears throat> presentation for you. And this literally just took a few minutes. Okay, so you can literally just copy all this, plug it in. Now, cool thing is, now that we have the core message for your webinar, any final tweaks or should we move on to creating your social posts and your, your promotional email? So I can just say yes, move on. And now Webby's going to write some social media posts for us to promote our webinars. I've got a couple frameworks that I find work the best to pull for responses. Now it's going to say, should we proceed with your emails to promote the webinar? Yes. Cool. Here we go. Uh, and I have a five part email sequence that's short. It's punchy, you know, addresses a question, hits them with the right response, short, punchy, direct. You can always just adjust these or add a story if you want, but these are really, really uh, easy way. It talks about when to send them, how subject line recommendations, all those kind of things are just done or ready for you. And then we can even create the, the the registration page copy. I recommend for most of you, just use Zoom. Zoom meeting for a webinar works fine. You can set it up so that you have a registration page. And then you can just literally add some of this stuff. <clears throat> literally all you need is a headline, subheadline, uh, reasons why they should attend, some copy for the for the for the those things, a little bit about you, and you're ready to go. Okay. So we now have everything we need to create and launch a simple webinar presentation. We just need to finalize the slides, fire up your Zoom meeting, use your promotional emails, use these social posts, uh, and then get out there and start getting your stuff in front of your ideal clients. Uh, if you're partnering and collaborating with others, um, you can use some of the copy from the emails here to, to give that to them so they can promote you all those kind of things. So if you'd like to learn more about how you can install this kind of thing for your business, uh, leave a comment down below. If you're interested, just comment Webby. I can get you a link. Uh, there's some links in the description as well, but just comment down below Webby and I can get you a link to check out the how you can access this kind of tool, okay? That's it for now. I look forward to seeing you on another video. Take care.